comes it back in a little bit. Yeah, Matt actually went up the racetrack a little bit. That time it looked like right in the middle of three and four. Now Jimmy Johnson is running the same lap times as these two, but he is three and a half seconds back. Truex, six seconds back at Boyer, eight and a half. Kane is there right now. Off on the back straight away, but he lost ground right there. Late exit. Can't get off a two. He gets off a third and four here better than Matt, but Matt's better off a two. Boy, did he drive it down in there, and he made it stick, there About two car lengths back, but Danica Patrick's going to get in the middle of him. That's all right. Kane could sweep all the way up the racetrack, use all the racetrack behind Patrick. Didn't seem to affect him that much as now he goes to the bottom. And chases the leader with six laps to go. He watched that 20 car come up off two, and that gap opens way up. And now get down here to three. Here comes Casey again. Hard into three. What Kane needs is for Kenseth to catch lap traffic exiting two. That would be very helpful to Casey, yes. Yeah, he did not make any ground whatsoever in three and four that time, as we've now got five laps to go. In fact, we've lost a little ground. You see the lead as both uh, a time and a distance. When our Fox Tracks is in with those speeds. Matt Kenseth says, oh, heck, I've done this before. I got this one. I wouldn't, I wouldn't count it in the bag just yet, but he knows what he's got to do. Yeah, Casey Kane is trying his heart out getting off in the three and four, but now he keeps paying that price on the exit. Yeah, he's just kind of overdriving it, trying to catch up. They, you go where you, you know, if that's where you can go, go fast. Four laps to go to the next uh, lap car they will catch will be Regan Smith, who is 22nd last car on the lead lap. Matt opened up a big gap that last time by Larry. Got him a pretty good distance that time. Now he catches Smith at the entrance of three. And Regan moves up, gives him a lane. But you're right, Daryl. Casey Kane is trying everything possible right now. He's trying every car on the racetrack. Guarantee he's about ready to bite that steering wheel into. He's so close. When you're that close and you just try as hard as you can. J.J. Yaley goes to the garage just three laps from the finish. Earlier they had replaced a transmission in his car. And Tony Stewart, the 14, is the next driver out there. I don't think with coming to two to go that they'll pinch that group. So if they'll pretty much just have to fight it out on their own. Casey actually made a pretty decent game that time through three and four. That's his That's his end of the track, three and four. We'll see how Matt does off the two again. That seems to really be where it pays off. And this is the same thing that happened at Vegas. Exactly. Ah, uh, Kane got a good run up off high side that time. He didn't make it. He's going to get a lot of straightaway speed here. He's there this time. Brian Vickers down and out of the way. They may catch the next car before this one's over. Kane has the bottom, sweeps up out of turn number four. White flag. White flag. In the air. One more lap. It is not over yet, though, boys. McMurray may not be a factor. He's probably far enough ahead as they roll turn number two. Okay, Larry, what happened that time is, is, is Matt moved up the hill, got a nice run off of turn two, opened up the, the distance between he and Kane. I think he can hold him off from here. That's Tony Stewart who pulls down to the inside, out of the way, not wanting to affect the outcome of this one. Kane coming on the bottom, sweeps up high. He's got a chance to dive down low. Matt Kenzo, 